Hey everybody, this is DJ DVD of DVD Records, and today I'm doing a Skylanders profile video. And honestly, this is probably going to be my last Spyro thing I'm going to do, probably, and then I'll probably get back to some music, if you're all wondering. <laughs> but I made a list, so I'm first going to do Spyro the Dragon, all fired up. He's actually pretty cool in that, he looks sweet. Okay. Spyro hails from a rare lineage of magical purple dragons that come from a far away land few have ever traveled. It's been said that the scrolls of the ancients mention Spyro prominently, the old portal masters having chronicled his many exciting adventures and heroic deeds. Finally, it was Master Eon himself who reached out and invited him to join the Skylanders. From then on, evil faced a new enemy, and the Skylanders gained a valued ally. Now, honestly, that makes sense when it says that he comes from a long line of magical purple dragons and, you know, he's, a, you know, yeah. So, honestly, that makes sense if this game is after the Legend of Spyro. Um, I said that in one of my other videos, too, but from reading that, that makes sense. Okay, now we will do Cinder. So, we got to find Cinder now. Oh, shit. There we go. Okay. Bam. Cinder the Dragon. Bolts and Lightning. While just an egg, Cinder was stolen by the henchman of an evil dragon named Malifor and raised to do his bidding. For years, she spread fear throughout the land until she was defeated by Spyro the dragon and freed from the grip of Malifor. But dark powers still flow through her, and despite her desire to make amends for her past, most Skylanders try to have a safe distance just in case. So, given that fact of... Like I said, my opinion, this being after the Legends series, that makes sense too. While just an egg, Cinder was stolen by the henchman of an evil dragon named Malifor. So, pretty much if you take it from the evil henchman, they would be talking about Gaul in the Legend of Spiral Eternal Night. So, at least that's what I think, in my opinion. Um, okay. Next is... Let's see, which one was it? I think it was this one over here. Next, we're going to be doing Scratch. Oh, I passed it. There we go. Scratch. The luck of the claw. Okay. High in the peaks of the Cat's Eye Mountain sights a towering city of crystal and gold that can only be reached by creatures of the air element. It was here that Scratch spat her use soaring playfully in the clouds or exploring the endless number of crystal mines. One day, an army of pirate greebles arrived in a fleet of airships looking to steal an ancient magical crystal buried deep into the mountain. Donning specifically made armor, Scratch led an epic battle against the pirates, using her incredible fighting skills to defend the crystal and save the city. Tales of her heroism soon made their way to Jetback, who traveled the Cat's Eye Mountain and recruited Scratch to join the Skylanders. Honestly, I love that story. Scratch is pretty cool. <laughs> She's pretty damn sweet. I love her armor on her head and stuff. That's pretty damn cool. All right. Next is number four. We'll go to Whirlwind. That's which is right there. Whirlwind. Twist of Fury. So Whirlwind is an air dragon with unicorn ancestry. Two species that could not be more opposite in nature. Which made her never quite fit in with either group. Other dragons were envious of her beauty and unicorns shunned her for her ability to fly, but Whirlwind found peace within the dark and stormy clouds where she learned to harness the tempest power within her. 
Despite her turbulent youth, she was the first to defend both dragons and unicorns when the trolls began hunting them, unleashing her ferocity in a brilliant and powerful rainbow that could be seen throughout many regions of Skylands. From the day forward, evildoers would quake when the dark clouds brood and run from the rainbow that flowed the storm. That'd be pretty sweet, actually. All right, next is number five, Sonic Boom. If we can find her, should be easy. She's right there. Sonic Boom, full screech ahead. Long ago, Sonic Boom took refuge high atop a mountain peak in the far reaches of Skylands, hoping to keep her griffin hatchling safe. But despite her precautions, a devious wizard tracked her down and placed a wicked curse on the griffin eggs. Once hatched, the young hatchlings can live for only mere moments before they magically return to their shells, only to be hatched again in an endless cycle. Wanting to prevent such evil from happening to others, Sonic Boom joined the Skylanders and has trained her young to defend Skylands each time they are hatched. Honestly, that'd be a bitch. <laughs> that'd be kind of an ass dick move. Okay, now we are going to do number six, Stealth Elf. So now we're going to find Stealth Elf. And she's right here somewhere. Oh, wait, did I pass her? Oh, no, she's right there. Stealth Elf. Silent but deadly. <laughs> so, that's funny. Sounds like a fart. <laughs> As a small child, Stealth Elf awoke one morning inside the hollow of an old tree with no memory of how she got there. She was taken in by an unusual stealthy ninja-like forest creature in the deep forest. Under his tutelage, she has spent the majority of her life training in the art of stealth fighting. After completing her training, she becomes a Skylander and set out onto the world to uncover the mystery behind herself. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> That's point, Silent Bedelli. Damn, she must fart a lot, damn. She must fart a lot there, if that's the case. <laughs> All right, next is number seven, Smolder Dash. So that's right there. That's pretty damn easy. Oh, that's pretty convenient. Okay, Smolder Dash, a blaze of glory. Smolder Dash has always wanted to be a royal defender of the Fire Temple. Home of the Fire Flame, a sacred torch that had been ignited by the original fire source. Unfortunately, she had been, dur or been born during an eclipse and was believed by her people to be cursed, which prevented her from such an honor. But when Chaos stole the flame and used it to light the candles on his birthday cake, it was Smolder Dash who went after it. Blazing like a comet after dashing into Chaos's lair, repelled the troll security force with her flaming whip and retrieved the sacred flame just before Chaos blew out the candles. Smaller Dash returned home as a champion to her people and was finally granted the honor of being a royal defender. But she gracefully declined having set a new goal for herself to help re uh, uh, fight against Chaos as a member of the Skylanders. <laughs> Damn, that'd be cool. Okay. Next is... Flashwing. Okay, next... Oh, shit. Sorry, people. Okay, now... We're gonna do... Flashwing. Okay, Flashwing. Blinded by the light. Flashwing's true origins are a mystery, but her first appearance came when Bash made a wish that he could fly and looked up to see a shooting star streak across the sky and land in a valley below. In the center of the glowing impact crater where a large brilliant goad which suddenly cracked open to reveal Flashwing. 
Bash may not have soared that day, but his heart sure did. <laughs> because Flash Wing was beautiful and lethal. As soon as Bash stepped closer, the gem dragon turned toward him. Not knowing if he was friend or foe, she blasted him off the cliff with a full force laser pulse from her tail. Perhaps Bash flew that day after all. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, and the next is Bash. I was going to say, yeah, next is Bash himself. So, Bash is over here. Bam, okay. Bash, rock and roll. Bash spent most of his early dragonhood staring into the sky, watching the flying creatures of Skyland soar among the clouds. Determined to join them, he learned how to curl himself into a ball and roll with the incredible momentum in a vain attempt to take flight. Over the years, his skin hardened, forming a natural protective armor unlike any other creature. He now thunders through Skylands, leaving a wake of destruction against any who threaten it. Despite his thick skin, he still gets a bit touchy about his inability to fly. Okay. That was good. Okay. And for the final one, for number 10, we're going to the machine. So, next for the final one is Drobot. Bam. Drobot. Blink and destroy. Dragons are smart, but none so much as Drobot. He was born in the highest reaches of Skylands, where dragons spent all their time competing in aerial battles, but Drobot was more interested in taking things apart to see how much they worked. While exploring one day, he came upon some mysterious technology which he used to assemble a robotic suit. Features include laser beams that shoot from his eyes, flight enhancement technology, a vocal synthesizer that gives him a deep booming voice, and the ability to shoot spinning gears. With such power, more than most other dragons, Drobot joined the Skylanders to help protect the residents of Skylands. That's pretty cool. Okay. And that was my top ten list for Skylanders. Honestly, for Drobot, that's funny. <laughs> Sounds more like fucking Darth Vader than fucking... <laughs> He's got a voice synthesizer. <laughs> the dark side is with you. <laughs> that's funny. But, yeah, so that's my um, top ten list of Skylanders for this game. And, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I'll probably just be either, I don't know if I'll do another game or what I'm going to do. But, I don't know, most likely, I don't know, maybe I'll probably get back to some music and stuff so um but yeah hope you liked it everybody have a wonderful day and peace